with me. It's always a delight to have Peter Maxwell of the Inland Waterways Association of Ireland here in studio because so many of the importances in his life are the importances of my life when we come to water, to boats and the canal. You're most welcome. It's, uh, we, you, we're the harbingers of good news this morning because we have uh, an English, well, an Engle, a Kilkeel woman living in London uh, bringing her narrow boat to Newry on the 15th of August or thereabouts with the intention of establishing uh, a, a, a restaurant, a sandwich bar well, in the Albert Basin. Yes, some type of a catering business. And uh, Mr. Mr. Courtney's uh, doing something as well. That's in the papers today as well. Oh, right, So right. we're going to have a surf, not a surfeit, we're going to have an abundance of yes, opportunity. Yes. Yeah. I, I had heard that there was another project similar. Yeah. Tell me the about offering. the one, the lady in England. What's the, do uh, tell me about this, tell me the story and you know a little bit about it. Well, we, uh, the Inland Waterways Association, we're more involved with actually getting the boat physically here from Warren Point. Uh -huh. She was concerned about navigating the channel and, and so on. Oh, indeed. And uh, now it's not so bad these days, it has got buoys on it, mm. but she was concerned about sea conditions. She thought it might yes. be very rough, oh, no. she, not knowing anything about the local yeah. area. But uh, so she, she uh, approached the IWA uh, I uh, actually in uh, Brian Castle she approached first of all yes. he put, his, put her in touch with the New England Port of Down branch. That's how that's your how organization well, works. It, you, see. You, know, yes. you, you see there is an organization the big king of the organization and the king of the organization says I have excellent <laughs> princelings and princesslings in your eye. <laughs> that's right. It's that's a good not, system. Not, not quite that, but it's still. It's a good system. <laughs> it, it, well, it's, it's a big organization. Yeah. You see. I mean, we have over mm -hmm. 2,000 members, 22 branches. But uh, so she phoned me up and, and said, well, will we be pre prepared to uh, help her bring the boat up? And I mean, obviously, uh, you know, it's no problem at all, no, no bother, whatever. But I, it always reminds me of the time that you brought me up in the canal. In 2003 it was. We never had the, the Mithril, the yacht up into Newry, the Albert gracious. Basin. And I did and, that. And there were, no, there were no mooring, no boys at that time on the channel. And you brought us up the first time I came Goodness up. Goodness gracious. And, uh, How time flies. Because I couldn't have found my way up that channel at that time. You'd found your way around the world. I've no doubt you would have uh, managed it. Well, maybe. We might have bounced off the sides a bit ah, here yeah. and there. But one of the things John done, I think it's there to this day, before John died, before the thing was properly buoyed, uh, on the approaches to the locks, there is the wharf yes. here, the concrete wharf, and behind it, Directly behind it in the bushes, we fastened, uh, a, we painted it white, uh, a scaffolding pole. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yes. And we fastened it to the fence at the back. Yes. And then for a three meter distance in the front of the wharf, we painted it white. That's, that's correct. That's so still there. It's still there. It's still maintained, must be by the council, I think. Well, Donnelly and I put that there to begin mm. with as an aid to navigation. Yes. Yes. And there you are. Well, it's a necessary yeah. leading mark if you're drawing more Absol than more than about six feet of water. Absolutely, absolutely. Otherwise, yeah. you'd be in you'd yeah. be in trouble coming in there. Without a doubt. But of course, the narrow boat's not so bad. She only no. draws about two foot or two foot six. Her problem you know? is really that uh, if there was any kind of sea running at all, she would roll a bit. Oh, it's not that. That's not the big problem. It's not the ro the rolling's uncomfortable. Yeah. Right? But the danger is if it's at the front end. Do you know the way you can sit at the front of those? Yes, yes, yes. Well, yeah. they're not self-draining like a yacht. Any oh. water that comes over there stays. stays. And oh, the, the doors mm. are literally like. Uh, a set of patio doors, not even as good as patio doors, oh my on a house. God. like greenhouse doors. Yeah. House. And so, so if, the, if you've got a wave over there and it starts to build up, it just goes. Yeah. And, the, and I've seen a video of one on the around about the Humber, now on a canal, not on the estuary. Yeah. And the wind was uh, against a bit of current on the, I think it's the Trent. Yes. And uh, it just nosedived. So wow. gradually they managed oh. to get it into the bank pain oh pain yeah. oh pain yeah. this is terrible yeah. so i mean these things can happen one of so. the things that happened on michael ryan's catamaran one day we were huh? bringing it up wow yeah. we were approaching and the wind uh, was driving her forward mm. Mm -hmm. forward forward and she went broadside to that wind Aye. and she was being carried right in against the parapet if you like Aye. of the seaward gate yeah and by a miracle of Herculean effort, the capacity for which was given to me by whatever God there is, I with the pulled it off, and engined and pulled and engined and yeah, pulled, yeah. and we got it off and got in. Yeah. So I, I do hope I'll have the pleasure of going up with you. I certainly will find a space for you somewhere on the boat, as long as you wear a life jacket, Rowan. Right. <laughs>
<laughs> who do you think you of course well i'll pose another question for you on your around the world travels in mithra mm -hmm. was it more important for you to wear a life jacket or in the cockpit in the middle of the ocean or to fasten yourself in with your lifeline well, I must admit here, hand on heart, I never wore a life jacket once. Yeah. They were still in their bags when we got yeah. back after but the 100 But you did use my... your... Uh, rarely. Rarely? <laughs> rarely, yes. This uh, is a bad it, example. <laughs> this is a bad example, yes, but the, 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 it gets quite complicated. If you're on the boat so long, you can yeah. feel when it's going to take a big roll. Yeah. You, you, you know, you feel it before the big roll. Uh, yeah. You know exactly, yeah. and you know to grab a hold of something. It's a bit like me in my small boat, mm -hmm. say 27 feet long, Tumlin. Uh, at the age of 30, 40, at the age of 40, 50, 60, maybe not quite 60, I was happy enough jumping around the boat, yes. and my foot always landed where I knew it should land. My hand always went mm -hmm. to the right place. That's right. But suddenly I started to find as I got older, I wasn't quite as agile. Aye, and the time had aye. come to draw a line under it, yes. or else get a bigger boat. Yes, well, that's but it. It was a, yes. it was a line drawn yeah. under it, and that yeah. was it. But, but so to, be, lady, to be more serious on yeah. that, that side, just because this sounds a bit flippant, what we were doing, it is more important on an ocean to have a, a lifeline on you. Yeah. Because the life jacket will keep you afloat, but yeah. whether you can be found again after 15 minutes is highly unlikely. Highly unlikely. So a, a lifeline to make sure you stay close yep. to the boat. That's, and that's much more important. from a harness on your body, yes. but via a line, bang, Clip, onto, on. a, onto a clip point yep. on board yep. the hull of the boat. Yep. Now that is very, very important. One of the things you would have, we, in, you know, we would, we would trail warps, ropes mm -hmm. in bad weather to yes. stabilize things and to give you some control. But the other thing, if you were maybe sailing alone, Mm. Nice idea to trawl, try yes. just trail behind you a line, a knotted line perhaps, mm -hmm. maybe yep. maybe 20 meters of it would be enough. So if you go in, you have something to catch. Ah, but it has to be connected to the rudder by some means or your automatic pilot. Otherwise the boat will sail on and you cannot hold on. No. A above no. four miles an hour you will not hold on to that rope for more than f three or four minutes. I am the living proof of that. Uh -huh. Let me tell you why. Do you see the shoulder? I have a rotator cuff injury uh -huh. here. How did I get it? One Sunday morning off the Isle of Man in a catamaran, mm -hmm. Rowan decided he was going to get a lovely photograph of the boat sailing beautifully. So we got the rubber dinghy and put it on a rope mm -hmm. at the back of the boat and pulled it up close. Mm -hmm. Rowan gets into the rubber dinghy <laughs> just to test it first of all, not the camera, but just to mm -hmm. make sure it would be fine and allowed, paid out the rope and the rubber dinghy mm -hmm. belt and was fairly and then once it was fully extended I said the nose the mm -hmm. bow of the rubber dinghy <laughs> went underneath yes and Rowan's it wasn't going to sink <laughs> no no but no, it was no. it was wet and uncomfortable mm. and it, it wasn't good mm. but Rowan decided he was going to pull the rubber dinghy back up out of the water again at a particular moment, dear friends, I both heard and felt the musculature of the rotator cuff area Aye. go. Yeah. And that's been bad for the 30 well, years since it. that day. That's it, you see? Absolutely. Yeah. You can't Crazy. be too careful at sea, no, there's no doubt no, about that. No. But fortunately, that's why the canals are a much safer place to oh, be. Oh, God, yes. Yeah. Well, at least they should be. They should be. Now, um, we, do, you, do you know there's a festival, a canal festival coming up at the end of August? No. In the Albert Basin and on the ship canal. Thanks be to God. Yes, it's marvellous. I think it's, it's magic and there's a whole, all sorts of events being organised. Right? Fantastic. So it's the councillor doing it uh, along with Firmus Energy with the triathlon. Yeah. But unfortunately, some of the events are rib rides along for six people. You can't have ribs on the canal. Banana rides. You can't have canal. banana rides on the canal. You yeah. cannot have ribs on the canal. You cannot have banana rides on the canal because these things go at speed. The banks of the canal r r really remain t uh, need to remain intact. The wildlife nesting has to remain mm -hmm. intact. The wake put up by these things will destroy the wildlife habitat and will erode the banks. That's right. That's right. There is a speed limit of four miles an hour on the canal. It has to be maintained. And it is passed by council, that was, under the, uh, the access procedures. Are you talking to council about this? I have, I have mentioned it to them about this. I'm and I the then same. discovered that, in fact, there was a jet ski 
on the canal oh, recently. Sweet. Oh, sweet and God. possibly another one is planned to be oh, coming no. on Let in the near future. Let it stop now. Yes, it has to stop. Let it stop. Because the, 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 it's the... I'm writing my column today, thank you. Yeah. The, the risk to the bank embankment between the canal and the river is the big one. Oh my that, God. That's not in great shape as it is. And more erosion on it will co possibly cause a breach, which will cost the ratepayers of this city a fortune to try and repair. But the, the other thing is, it's a scheduled ancient monument. Now, as you say, it erodes the stuff, the, the, the waves off the back of the boat. Think if you went down to Narrow Water Castle and started scraping away at the soil underneath it. Yeah. Or you got a screwdriver or a knife and started scraping at the, the mortar between the stones. That is what that, the, the wave action is doing to the canal. And it's a scheduled monument. And, and I mean, it, 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 the whole thing is just crazy. Eddie, Eddie Curtis, you're a good man. You're a man of Newry. Your father was a man of Newry, knew my father well. I say to you now that this is very bad news. I know you care enough to enforce the four mile an hour speed limit on the canal. You can do it, Eddie. I know you will do it. I know this has slipped through some yeah, just net that through, yes. people didn't think of it. Mm. But you must not have speeding boats on the Newry Canal. No, no. It's not good policy. It's wrong, wrong, wrong. Is but, that an overstatement? But no, it's not an overstatement. But the big shame is that so much of the events are based around speed. You know, the, the other slower ones, they're brilliant. And we'd love to see better use of the canal and the basin. But we just can't. I mean, it's just the, the, the thought shocked. of the damage. Yeah, well, I was horrified. I'm shocked. I'm horrified. Yeah. I got a telephone call and then picked up a copy of this newly advertiser newspaper. I am shocked. And it's actually on the, the council website as well. This has got to stop. Yeah. You must yeah. not have speed on the canal. No. Apart from anything else, the resident boats that are there, with these things flying past, they put up a wave and disrupt yep. the, the, the quiet peacefulness of the area. Well, Waterways Ireland on all the canals in Ireland have a limit of four miles an hour. Yeah. And also a no wake policy. When you're passing moored boats, you should slow what down sufficiently. Oh, the, the 31st. I have time. Yes. So my, oh, yes, yes, my yes. column in the Newry Democrat, yeah. Rowan's Rambles, mm -hmm. will deal with yeah. that this week. Yeah. And um, I, I'm not blaming the council because no, this is no, something no, no, that no, can no. so very easily happen mm -hmm. if mm -hmm. you're not tuned very yeah. finely to waterways and the canal. Yeah, but they have departments that are, but I don't know whether they were approached or not. No, probably, not. probably not. Probably no, not. Probably no, not. No. It sounds like such a good idea, you know, there's no doubt about it. But Peter, the, try but it's uh, not, cheer me know. up, will you? Cheer, cheer me up, me please. Up. Well, last week we, were, we had a film production company, a crowd called uh, Real Passion Media Limited, the wow. Dublin company. And they were up filming on the canal Fantastic. and further up on the inland canal with us at, uh, from the wind further up and out to, to Calm Bay. Fantastic. Yeah, they, they approached us to do it. Fantastic. Yes, so it's not and are you, is it, you're, you're going to feature substantially in one of their documentaries? Yes, that's right. Yes, that's, this yes. is good. We're not too sure what angle the documentary is going to take, whether it's going to be the hogweed eradication or the actual canal, because there might be actually going to be two now, because they were, oh. so, they were so impressed with the work wow. that we're doing. And they had one of these little quadcopter things, you know. These, oh yes, yes, for flying up and down the, the, the canal yes. as well for the photos, yeah. you know, on yeah. the video actually. No, I, I should tell you, and you'll be delighted to hear this, that on another occasion, a film was made on the canal. Oh yes, but this yes. one was made by the now royal correspondent of the BBC, uh -huh. Nicholas Witchell. Mm -hmm. Nicholas was working in Belfast. Uh, in his early days, mm. where I was the right. deputy head of news and current affairs, and Nicholas went down onto the canal and captured some wonderful footage for a report he mm -hmm. was doing about canals. So mm. the, the provenance is there. Yeah. Oh, yes, thank, yes. Thanks be yes. to God for it. Yes. So we're looking forward on the 15th to welcoming the, uh, the narrow boat into yes. the canal. Yes. I'm told that Liz, she's painting it now and <laughs> getting all the flowers on board and yes. getting the. The, the, the wildlife uh, images oh, all yes. on it. Very it's good. going to be absolutely good. beautiful. Yes. So good luck to Liz and good luck to Pat Courtney. Mm -hmm. to oh, the yes, two indeed. Of you yes. Doing what you're yes. doing. And as I understand it, one of them will be in the area close to the butter crane mm -hmm. and the other will be in the basin. Oh, right, right. So that's right. all good. Yeah, oh, that's and brilliant. Yes. Let it be. Yes. Be lovely for Pat because Pat, Pat's place on the, on, the, mm -hmm. on the quay opposite the butter crane be very easy to serve it. Oh, it's I ideal, other. ideal, yeah. yes, indeed, yeah. you know. Right. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for coming in. Okay, no problem. And you all. brought Always great news to us this morning. Well, no, it's great to bring it to the news. I think yeah. it's not great news. You know, no, but it's but great. But hopefully, in the long but term, I'm, it will. What, be. I, what I am still uh, delighted about 
is that I retain something of the feck off <laughs> bark of youth. I can still get angry about things. Maybe you're just an angry old man now, though. <laughs> oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, God bless Robert. you. Go well. Yes. Music's out. <laughs>